You're listening to the Junior Birdman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Junior Birdman Podcast. I am your host, the Junior Birdman. We're joined by our guest, Larry, today, who's covering a conspiracy regarding fried chicken. Larry, welcome to the show. Um, You've been looking into this for some time now, is that correct? Yes, I've been investigating this for months now. And the only thing that makes sense is that if you look at the sales number of these major retailers in chicken, it's impossible to believe anything other than this harmful chemical is being added into the chicken. It's causing people to return to their restaurant and consume more of their chicken. Can you break down what this is for our audience so they better understand? The leading fried chicken retailers have developed a synthetic form of dimethyl, which changes the chemistry of the human mind. Dimethyl is a chemical in fried chicken. It leads people away from thoughts of beef and pork and towards a diet with more poultry and fish. And they also diluted and genetically modified phytholanes which make fish less appealing to the brain. The result is people buying more of their specific chicken based on the genetic makeup of the recipe. Now you said you have clear evidence of this. What's the clear evidence you have? To well, if you look at the sales, it's clear. Look at these graphs I have on the screen for you. Here are the chicken sales of the leading fried chicken restaurants in the area. There they are, you see, they've all grown, and here are the sales of all other fried chicken restaurants of the area who do not use these modified horns of genetics in their recipes, and you can see there's a massive difference. Well, if it makes people crave chicken, how come they are not craving chicken from the other restaurants, too? We well, see, Birdman, these big corporate restaurant chains, they're very, very crafty. These chemicals have been genetically engineered to appeal to the specific franchise that they're geared towards. So once you get a taste of KFC, you don't want any other chicken. You only want KFC. Once you taste Popeyes, you never want anything else but Popeyes, and it's all because of these chemicals. How many other fried chicken restaurants are included in this study? I'm not sure of the exact number of other fried chicken restaurants in the study, but these other chains are present and they are stifling the small businessman who's trying to make an honest living here. Now, you're one of these restaurant owners in the area, right? You're part of this group, isn't that correct? You're one of the restaurants in this. You know, the fact that I have my own chicken shop that's not doing so well has nothing to do with this at all. Let's be clear. And that you would bring that up is very, very unprofessional, Birdman. Larry, I'm not trying to impugn your character at all. I'm just pointing it out. I think maybe you're one of the victims of this whole thing. If they're harming people, it victimizes you as well. Yes, thank you. I am a victim, and these chemicals are very harmful without question. You are putting untested hormones and nitrates and chemicals inside the human body. Who knows what kind of long-term damage this can cause? And you think these big chicken shacks care? No, not a bit. No one cares. I care at Larry's Chicken Shack. They use their power to squeeze out the little guy inch by inch, and that's what's happening to me and every other franchise in this area that's not one of the big chicken shacks. Well, I imagine you must not be alone. What are the other restaurants in the area? Are there others in the area besides you that are involved in this? Well, Birdman, at this point, Big Chicken has made it impossible for anyone to operate in my area. I'm the only one left. I'm trying to hang on, but it's very hard when you have the boot of Big Chicken on your neck every day of the week. So you're the only restaurant in this study, then? You're the only one who's not a major... Well, so what? So what's the big deal? I don't even know what your point is. So we don't use harmful chemicals. We use normal genetic chickens, no special feed, no special water, just normal chickens. So what's the big deal? Is that why the pieces are smaller? What is she talking about? 
Well, I've been to your restaurant, Larry, and when I get a two-piece dinner, the drumstick is always kind of small. At first, I thought it was like the little wing drum. Is that just because they're organic chickens? Well, we don't serve turkey legs, okay? Maybe you were expecting to get something that would make you look like your King Louis the Fourteenth or something with a big drumstick running around. We just have normal, regular, organic, normal chickens, okay? I wasn't expecting a turkey leg, Larry. I've had a two-piece at Popeyes. I've had a two-piece at KFC. And compared to yours, they seem bigger, that's all. Is that some kind of crack you're making about my unit now? Now you're making fun of my unit? It's not a sexual innuendo. I've never even seen your unit, let alone Popeyes. You know, Birdman, I pay for this time, you know? This is how your staff treats me. I have your staff attacking me. I paid for this. She's not attacking you, and you agreed to take questions as part of this forum. So. Oh, I see. So I guess they've gotten to you also. Is that what it is? What, who's gotten to me? What do you mean? You probably had some chicken strips from KFC before lunch, didn't you? Now you're just a big corporate hack for them. You just can't get your mind off of the KFC chicken strips now, can you? What are you, what are you talking about? Okay, so it wasn't KFC, so I bet you went to Popeyes and had a nice, juicy, spicy chicken breast from Popeyes, didn't you? And I bet you think it was delicious, and now you've got, you've got chicken brain. You're just hooked on chicken, aren't you? Well, now that you've been talking about it a little bit, I guess it wouldn't be so you bad. You see? They got you now. You're just a robot for the chicken. I'm a robot for the chicken? You never even used those coupons I gave you for my place, did you? Well, I really don't eat a lot of fried chicken, Larry, so... Oh, but you had to have some Bojangles today, didn't you? Hot and juicy, I did not... fresh out of the oven. I bet you had to make it fresh for you, didn't you, you chicken addict? I did not have Bojangles. Yeah, you're like one of those creatures from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Larry, you know, I think you're starting to get a little... Get Larry... Get was that supposed to be your body snatcher impersonation? Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be. Had yeah, not too bad, but not too great either. All right. Yeah, well, at least I'm not a chicken slave, Bergman. I'm not a chicken slave, Larry, okay? I'm just... You're going to play the ad now? I'm hanged for this time. My time's almost up. You're going to play the ad or what? All right, let's go ahead and play the ad for him. Larry's Chicken Shack. No synthetic dimethyl. Larry's Chicken Shack. No genetically modified triathlons. Larry's Chicken Shack. Come down to Larry's for a two-piece and three-piece special this week only. Also check out our dinner specials and our new Larry's breakfast special. Larry's Chicken Shack. Come to Larry's, we treat you right. We don't feed you garbage like the other places. Larry's Chicken Shack, open seven days a week on May. Larry's Chicken Shack. What can you tell us about that weekly special you're offering, Larry? Right now, it's a special deal. You get a two piece, two sides, and a small drink for just $18.99. But you gotta come down now. It's a limited time only at Larry's Chicken Shack. Wow. Eighteen ninety nine. No wonder you're getting killed by the other guys. I mean, what are you talking about? That's a very fair price. If you want the white meat, there's a four dollar upcharge, but that's a very fair price. It just seems like that's a pretty high price, if you ask me, Larry. I mean, you know, what do you know about business, anyways? Just shut up. You hang up. I could run out the KFC for us. I think I'd rather have Popeyes or Bojangles. Was the coupon bid for? One dollar off for an order of fifty dollars or more. Ooh, wow, big deal. Great deal after all, I'd say. So. I am mocking the coupons now. The coupons aren't even good enough for you. Now you have a good a free gift and you mock it. How'd you get back on here? I thought you hung up the phone. What are you doing? These are the kind of skills you acquire when you eat magic chicken, bird man. Magic chicken. Not laughing so hard at those coupons now, are you? No, I, I'm not, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I didn't think so. I think we're going to have to go get some chicken here. Kaylee, go get some chicken over at uh, Larry's. I'm going to make sure they get a double order because the pieces are kind of small. 